Hello, tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Railroad Tycoon 3 with me, Blue Ankylo. It's time to finish off this set. We're going to go to the Orient Express. Now, unfortunately, every time I've tried to record this intro, uh, the game has crashed on the video for this one for some reason. Probably a resolution trick or deek. So, unfortunately, you're going to miss this one out. Uh, so, I'll see you in game. All right, here we are. Sorry about not being able to show you the video this time. I'm not sure what the problem is. The Orient Express was the epitome of luxury travel by land. The line car or the line pulled wagon lits, wagons lits. I don't know what that is. Sleeper and diner cars, gourmet meals, plus sleeping accommodations. The most difficult feat was arranging for passage for cars through several nations. Oh, good, and differing track specifications. It's your task to make this difficult route profitable and a shiny example of engineering. All right, Vienna to Istanbul. So heading towards the east. Um, so we want an overall good speed of 20 miles per hour or higher. So let's see, 34 years, got to keep speed a little bit faster than usual. Um, so we're going to be a little bit pickier with what trains we pick. Um, I think I often average more like 15 or 16 just in general. So uh, I'm going to have to be careful with that. And then finally, even faster, wow, 30 miles per hour is really quick. Uh, and also got to play the stocks a little bit. And I can do unconnected track and stuff if I want, so that's nice could start multiple companies even I think well we're not gonna do that okay so we got Vienna somewhere on the other a other side of the map should be Istanbul uh, somewhere Istanbul where are you I can't see it oh there it is right in the corner okay so we got a long way to go is it Constantinople no it's Istanbul <laughs> uh, old joke. Um, so anyway, we got a long way to go. Um, wow, that is long. So I think... I mean, there's a lot of cities up here in the northwest. Um, it's also fairly flat over here, uh, other than the rivers, of course. I'll probably not be connecting through this mountain range unless I have to, because uh, that's expensive and slow. Uh, we'll probably try to keep it the lowlands where possible. Uh, also, we want to check uh, the nations, so hold on. I guess I should make my character first. Let's go make sure we know who we are. We're not Adolf von Hansmann. We are Blue Ankylo. We'll even have two names, <laughs> or two words. Alright. Co-founded the Romanian Railway. Well, sure I did. Whatever. It's totally the sort of thing I would do. And we'll start a company, and we'll call it, uh, not constant. Actually, we'll go like this. Plus one blue ankylo point if you know what I've been referencing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Actually, you know, the bull seems good. Isn't, uh, isn't the bull, like, one of the symbols for Istanbul? <laughs> or am I just being stupid? <laughs> ah, well, it's all good. Oh, so this one I'm not sure of. Before deciding to take this challenge, you were a successful entrepreneur. What exactly you invested in was a bit vague. Um, okay, I don't know. Business might make me start with more money personally. Industry will probably give me like cheaper rail or cheaper cars. Science though might give me speed, and that's what I would really like to have is like faster trains. So we're gonna try science. Arts and politics, I, I don't know. I'm just guessing. I haven't played this in so long, I can't remember exactly. We'll try science. We'll probably get some event eventually that gives me something. So territories, this is kind of important. Right now we can we can uh, lay track only in Austria-Hungary, which is luckily a lot of land. And we'll have to at least go through, well, the Ottomans at some point. So theoretically, we could go through Serbia and then into into Ottomans and straight over, but it might be nicer to go through Bulgaria or Romania, possibly. Uh, probably Russia is cheap, but I don't know. It's kind of out of my way to go up there, and the cities aren't very good. Uh, we also have Montenegro, which is also cheap and also not terribly valuable. Bosnia. I'll probably stick with one of these three and then down to the Ottomans, or two of these three or something, whatever I need. That's the plan anyway, but first, but first, we need money. We need to make some basic routes. So let's start in Vienna, that's the only place that really makes sense. Um, 
I suppose we're gonna go Vienna to Bratislava. Bratislava? Bratislava? I don't know. And then off to Budapest, that makes sense. Maybe Belgrade if that's in... No, that's in Serbia, technically, so no. Well, actually, I would like to avoid those giant mountains, so maybe I will head down through uh, Serbia first. Because, uh, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I think these mountains are a little bit scary. I'd have to build a pretty big tunnel to get through and still keep my trains moving quick. Okay, that's that's the plan. I'm, I'm happy with that. So I can lay unconnected track, which is handy. Uh, let's start with... I mean, I should be using stone bridges just to keep the the, the speed up on the trains. It's going to be expensive, though. Can I uh, take out any bonds? Yeah. Take out one bond just to get a little bit more money to play with. And we're going to... I think because I can lay stations down ahead of time. Let's see. I'm going to have the track going pretty much straight that way. Straight uh, east, I think. So if I put the station in here, oh right, locked. I could put the, you know what, this is dumb, let's just put the tracks down for normal. <laughs> I was trying to put the, the uh, station down first just to save me some trouble later on, but. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna hug the water like that, hug the river. Okay, we'll start with a medium as much as uh, eventually I'll, I'll want to upgrade this to large. I think if I put it right here, when I upgrade it to large, it should have room and it should hit everything, I think. So that'll do for now. Save me 100,000. And then we're going to go to Bratislav. Bratislava. And it does use a stone bridge to get in, so let's think about this. There's lots of little cities. I'll, I'll probably connect up all these guys because they're all fairly close together. Um, let's see, if I put a station, could I fit one? Technically it's connected here across the river, that way I wouldn't have to put a bridge in. But it also doesn't actually connect up very much stuff. And that would work, but that's pretty expensive. I don't know if... Is this a good idea? The bridge is more expensive. And if I build a bridge, it's only going to connect to Nitra, I think, at later. I'd have to make another bridge to get to Budapest anyway. You know what? Spending a hundred thousand on a large station is probably less than uh, the bridge would cost, to be honest. And it does say connected. You know, I think I like this. I think I think that's a good idea. Do that. What do you guys think? Was that smart of Old Blue? Yeah, I think overall that will save a bit of money. It'll also make the connection really fast. There you go. I was using my brain. I should have enough money to get to Gyor. Especially considering I don't have to build any bridges to get here. We're going to go straight through downtown Gyor, I think. Um, when I say straight through, I mean like this. Alright. And from there, probably it should just connect right up to Budapest right off the bat. I don't know if I have enough money. Let's, uh, oops. First, I want to put the station in for Gyor. Or whatever it's called. Could be something else. Just a little station will do. And now let's see how much this trains are going to cost. Um, there's my old faithful consolidation. I do like that one. It's an old favorite. Farley's... Fairly, sorry, is a horrible idea. Because I need to average... To get gold, remember, 30 miles an hour. So we're going to want... Not full loaded trains too often. We're going to scale it back to like 6 or 5. Instead of... Or, sorry, four or five instead of six, seven, or eight. Uh, the consolidation is faster at max. Let's see. A bit more expensive to buy. It's got better acceleration. You know, I think the acceleration is going to count. Because for short trips, it's not going to hit the max speed so quickly if it's got bad acceleration. Even if the reliability is a little bit down. Yeah, we're going to go with Sterling's for now. We might get a new one before too long. Uh, again, this one's much worse on hills and uh, with lots of cars. But if I keep the cars down to about 5 or so, 5 is still faster than consolidation. Even up to 6 isn't too bad. I might just start at 4, you know. Let's just try to really uh, max out our, um, our speed. So 4 trains each, back and forth. That will do. 
And I'm going to buy... That's just Vienna to Bratislava. Bratislava? I don't know. Um, I'm going to need at least one more train. Even if I add another route in, I'm going to need one more train. And then I'm going to need... Um, the maintenance stuff. So we'll put it... Uh, oh, wait! No! I didn't even notice that! How much money did I just make th with waste there? Ah, sh you know what? I'm actually going to restart this mission because that is stupid. I'll just rebuild this stuff off camera and have more money because... Oh, that is dumb. A big expensive stone bridge I didn't even need. I didn't even notice. Shoot! I'm sorry, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that little cut, folks. So this time should look exactly the same except I have $200,000 more thanks to not building a stupid bridge. I, uh, phew, I don't know how I did that. Anyway, um, what I was saying was it's time to add the service tower and stuff, and I wanted to add it right where that bridge was, because, uh, I'll have Vienna go after the, well, I could put it near Vienna, no, no. I'll probably be connecting up to Budapest next, probably. Anyway, this place is a large station, they can have the, the stuff here. Okay, now I did already add the trains, so what I will do is... Just add that extra stop. Vienna to Brat Bratislava to the maintenance and then back to Bratislava. Alright, that should work. And I still have 400,000 left, so I could try to connect up another route. Um, I mean, I do want to go this way as well, uh, although it is. It actually is a little hilly over there, so maybe. Maybe I would actually connect that up from Bratislava, just because it's like farmland and flat. Rather than... I was thinking like Vienna this way, kind of have like a, a route that goes around like that. But, let's see if I can make it to Budapest. I don't know... No, not even close. The bridge really puts me over the limit there. Even if I went with wood, I don't think that'd be a great idea. Alright, so I do have a station there, yeah. So that means the next routes, I'll probably, you know, I probably will go through these four before I worry about getting to Budapest, because those rivers are just not very nice. Or I could head to Zagreb. Zagreb? It's only one bridge as well. Let's see here. How much would this cost? You're kind of on the edge of a hill. If I could get through from here, though... Let's see. If I... If I made the curve right after the maintenance station, for instance... I can always undo this if it costs way too much. Pretty straight through. Actually, I think I'm gonna do this. Oh, maybe not quite, because I need to buy another train, or double a train route. Yeah, we could do that. We could have your and back and forth or something like that. Yeah, okay, that'll be fine. We'll just, we'll use one of the trains we already have. I'll, I'll plan to add another train to it later. We'll even just add a medium station just to make sure we get everything. All right. Who's the lucky train? Um, let's think about this. The Gyor Bratislava is like the shortest route. It's also smaller cities. Vienna might want to move more stuff. Um, I don't know. Which ones? I mean, I, what I really want is another train. I just don't have the money for it. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Let's have uh, the second train do both. So it's going to go Bratislava, Gyor, back to Bratislava, to Zelega, whatever. I don't even want to try. Zel, we'll just call it Z, or Z. Okay, so Brat, Gyor, Brat, Z, Brat. It's going to Brat a lot, but that'll be fine. It does go through the maintenance every time. Okay, good. Let's get this uh, show on the road then. So let's see, trains. Come on, trains. you got to make me some good money. That, that's 2,000, that's a, that's not a good run, bad train. I thought one of them was, I thought one of them said they were making lots of stuff. The heck did I do wrong? Science and technology, of course, the way to the future. Good, see this is what I was hoping I'd get. Um, I'll be able to get speed and load pulling both? Whoa, that's gonna be awesome. Uh, we're gonna just go with a flat speed buff though for now. Because we're not going to have very full loads just yet. I don't think. So speed. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so let's just keep in track. Just so I can remember. 
we're looking at about 75 to 63. 75, 75, 74, 63. I want to try to remember. Oops, oops, that's not what I want to see. I want to remember that to see how much it changes. Come on, money. Come on, trains. Make me big dollars. Maybe I shouldn't have built so many large stations. 25% faster. Wow. Good investment. So now, and then, yeah, of course, I've got negative money. Furniture factory in Arad. That seems like it's probably down in Ottoman somewhere. Nope, never mind that. It's, it's actually fairly close. That's fine. Geography, it's tough. <laughs> There's an awful lot of cities to remember. So, uh, what was I going to look at? Train speed? Okay. Oh, look at that. 94, 94. Wow. Wow, that's fast. Okay, that's going to make that 30 miles per hour average so much easier. These trains are just going to fly. Like, let's just follow this guy. I mean, he barely even... I don't even think this guy has time to get to full speed. We'll follow him on the way back to Bratislav. Bratislava. Bratislav sounds more Russian to me. Bratislava is probably more like Croatian or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making stuff up. All right, you got nothing. You're a bad train. The only good thing is that you're going to be pretty fast. Bam. Speed record? No. No speed record. I'm going to pick up... Oh, you're going to go get to maintenance first. That's fine. Get yourself some water. Yeah, yeah. I want to see if he picks some stuff up on the way back. Oh, there's another company. I forgot about that. Oh, also. I'm supposed to be uh, working my value up. You know, I should probably double that before long. As soon as the trains are out of the way, I'm going to double this little section here. Just so they move back and forth a little quicker. Should be pretty cheap. And then I'll probably add the next train in. Well, I don't know. Should I really bother adding another train in? Looks like they're barely doing anything. Well, 55,000. They did kind of get stuck on each other there for a little while. Alright, they're both making a bit of money. That's, that's fine. Another company. Wow, I, I underestimated the AI. I forgot there'd be competition at all. Come on, get through the maintenance, so I'll build this, and we'll be good. It's only going to cost 40000 Whatever, I'm just going to do it. I was trying to wait till the train got out of the way, but I'm, like, expecting this guy. Yeah, he's already on his way back. All right, all right, we're good, we're good. It's all good, folks. So where are they? Budapest is one. Uh, Zagreb is the other. Of course the AI would pick the two good cities. So you have the next two good. I guess Belgrade would be the next, or Belgrade. I don't know how you pronounce stuff. Shoot, I forgot all about AI stuff. I thought this was just a single player one, honestly. Hmm. I need more tracks. I need more cities. More cities. I don't know if it's worth adding that third train in yet. Maybe. They're just not making much money right now. How much is it going to cost? 140. Well, we'll see how our first year's profits or lack of such goes, and then I'll have a, I'll think about it. We can start looking at what they produce. Meat, meat and beer, meat and booze. Good job. We got lots of people here. Iron and coal. Some cows. Paper, grain, lots of meat. Looks like we need somewhere to buy meat. And more meat and stuff. Lots of booze and uh, meat. And those guys are building like crazy already. All right, we got a small increase. We made a little teeny bit of money. Interest is cutting into it a little bit, but I think I do need to keep upgrading. Can I take another loan? I could take another loan right now. I really think I need to get more cities connected. Uh, if I took a loan, I might get into Budapest because I don't have to build the station. But I still have to build that bridge over the water, unfortunately. I could have tried to do my trick with Budapest, actually. Yeah, I could build a station on this side just to save me some money right now. But, I mean, I already did that trick once. <laughs> I think that works out, but um, maybe I should just connect some of these little cities up. 
Actually, you know, I meant to go to Shkomb or something, and I went to Zalig instead. That was actually pretty much an accident. <laughs> oh well. Um, looks like I should be able to get this direction pretty easily. Yeah, let's try to get a couple. We'll go just around the water. So a little bit of a hill by the water. So we'll just go a little bit down first, and then in. Yeah, we're gonna need a loan to get it working. Yes, that's fine. We're gonna do it. Give me another bond. Horrible interest rate, yeah. Hopefully this is the last bond I'll get at the bad interest rate. Can I get to Pex as well? If I could just get a couple more cities connected, I'd be pretty happy. It's gonna cost all my money. No, I can't quite afford that. If it costs... Stop that. If it costs... Yeah, 300. I wouldn't be able to buy the train I want to buy or put the stations in, so that's not gonna work. Shoot! I was hoping to get, you know, two cities connected for one bond. Oh well. Just gotta do what you do. You're just getting a small, small station. There's just no way I can afford a big one right now, guys. That'll do. Okay, we're gonna change the second train. We're gonna clear his route. And all he's gonna do is go Bratislava to Gyor. And we're gonna add a train, and he's gonna go all the way back and forth there. And it does hit the maintenance, so he should be good. Bam. But spend all my money. Now if I can just make a little bit of money, I will connect up to Pex. So let's do it. I hope. <laughs> Again, a very slow start. Not making much money, but... The city should grow. They should start producing more goods now that we are transporting them and making the prices go up and stuff. Up in some areas, down in others. I probably need a, uh, I will need a service tower over here. It's too long of a route to not have some service in the middle. Okay, so how much am I going to need here? I'm going to need about, let's say 400,000 to get there for a small station. I'll try to get that going. I will try. Come on, trains. You can do it. Make old blue the big bucks. And then I gotta pay off some bonds or something. So we do have we have a fairly long time, 34 years. The main goal being just to connect, which isn't generally too hard. Uh, the speed the speed uh, requirement is more difficult and the <laughs> the playing the market one can certainly cause problems if you're not careful. Oh, you met the renowned writer Jules Verne! Cool! Alright. Um, we need to connect Zagreb to learn about... A fancy machine? Okay. Um, Zagreb is down this way. It's not too far off. Of course, those guys got there first. Um, cool, yeah, we got a little side quest. Awesome. We'll totally do that if I can afford it. Come on, trains. You gotta make me some money. Just speed it up a little bit. We got a dairy processor. That's not going to help me much. Come on, trains. Speed record, 43 miles an hour. It doesn't seem that great, but it's a good average, I guess. Blue Mobile. It's a great name. It's good. It's quality. All right, there you go. Now that you've got a fancy name, you're worth a little bit more money to passengers. That'll help out. We are sort of making money. I don't know. Are we even going to make a profit this year? I think I started with like 200,000. This is not super great. Come on, game. I could issue uh, stock, but that will hurt my character's net worth in a sense. And it doesn't really get you very much anyway early on, so it's not really worth it. Hmm. I'm not seeing I'm not seeing the four hundred thousand. I'm seeing like barely making any money at all. Yeah, look at this little one thousand, two thousand kind of Oh, I don't wanna look. Yeah, cut my salary. We basically didn't make anything. The interest is cutting into our profits pretty significantly. Shoot. I mean if I hadn't taken out that second loan, I wouldn't have been able to 
buy a train or anything, so that would I wouldn't have done anything anyway. <sighs> Ouch. Well, we gotta just hope it turns around, or else this will be a fail start. I've only had one so far complete fail. Well, you remember that other mission. It wasn't actually a fail. It was, uh, I wasn't gonna get gold. <laughs> um, a leader of Serbian Separatist Group uh, asked to make a deal. I could feel the treatment of Serbia by the Emperor, blah, blah, blah. Serbia is unhappy with Austria. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is gonna do. So I've got a year to decide if I want to help Serbia and possibly tick off the Austrians. Um, all my track is in Austria right now. I mean, getting into Serbia for cheaper would be nice if that's the kind of thing I get. Instead of paying three million, maybe it only costs, you know, a million or something. But I certainly don't want to make Austria mad at me. Hmm. Zagreb is going into debt. I assume they're building more tracks down here then. No? Maybe they're just going into debt. <laughs> Looks like they're making a lot of money there. Like, look how much stuff that truck is carrying. That Shea truck. This guy is just loaded up. That's making more money than I do and it's just going back and forth between two like really close together. Like, he's got two trains just going back and forth hardly anywhere and they're filling up way more. 100,000? Look at this! Why am I not getting that kind of money? I mean, that one's not making as much, but like, isn't that oversaturating the route? Like, if I did that many trains, I wouldn't, they'd just be empty. I have one train connecting each city, and they're barely filling anything. He's got double. I don't understand that. I think the AI is cheating. <laughs> cheating AI. I'm not making any money at all. That's another year with basically no money. I may be done, like... Okay, Serbian has returned, so this is the deal. Serbia costs half co price, but everywhere else will cost 30% more. I don't think the children care. Um, so Serbia would be, instead of 3 million, it would be 1.5. But if I want to get anywhere else, it'll cost more. I don't know about that. I mean, like, Serbia's cool and all, but I don't want them everywhere more expensive. Nah. I don't think that would save me money in the long run. Salary remains basically not doing good. Huh. But yeah, like, uh, for instance, I could get to Serbia. That would save me one and a half million. And then Ottomans would cost 30% more, I think. And I would spend that one and a half million back right there. And if I want to get anywhere else, that's an extra million, extra 300,000, extra 300,000. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. But yeah, just getting into the Ottomans, which you have to, would make me pay as much as it takes to get to Serbia, as much as I would have saved, I think. So, that seems like a dumb idea. Okay, this is not working so good. I was thinking I would be making more money than I am making. Okay, that's better. I like seeing these guys not making tons of money. I don't know how they were making so much, like hundreds of thousands per trip. Yeah, that's better. 38. Maybe they're w burning through their good trips. I guess I should just pay my loan back. I wanted to connect up another city, but the interest, like, if I'm paying 100,000 in interest and making 75,000 net, I just can't afford to keep doing that. This may be the worst start I've had yet, and I thought I did okay. I could take another loan now, but I wouldn't be able to pay it off unless it made me money. Usually connecting up a couple extra cities, you get lots of money, but... Oh well, I'm just having a rough, rough, rough start, that's all. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. He's buying shares and stuff, yeah. His stock's going down, his stock's going down, mine is mostly holding steady. I don't think the AI is going to kill me just yet, but... Another year goes by with basically no money at all. Ooh. Yeah, as if I could get to Edirne. Huh. That was a pretty poor year, I gotta say. Um, my salary is actually going down now. Whoo, not good, my friends, not good. How's the AI doing? Mm, better than me, actually. I don't know why... This guy's not doing good, so uh, Budapest, not so good. 
Yeah, for some reason that uh, that one by Zagreb was just making them tons of money in freight. It was like something was really valuable switching back and forth between Verazdin and Zagreb for some reason. Um, and my larger network is just not competing yet. We're making some money, but it's just not enough. They refinance some more debt. So they're not really growing. This the only good news. Wow. Well, this this may not work. I don't know. Maybe I've doomed it. I've wasted too many years just not making any money. I mean, this is it's not much to talk about. Just kind of hoping to pay off one of my bonds. I take another one. Nine percent. I could refinance it for cheaper, kinda. I mean, it'd be less interest. Yeah. I do waste like 10,000 sort of doing that each time, but there, now we're, that, that should cut off some of the interest payments. Can go to 8% now, actually. I'm not going to do it again right away, but wow. I thought I would be connecting up to Pex in no time or connecting up to Budapest, but it's like I'm not even close. I'm not, I'm actually like, I think I lost money this year. <laughs> wow, well, good. I'm just going to keep this recording going a little bit long because I have a feeling I'm going to have to restart and uh, I don't want to have the next episode be like, oh, and then just, you know, game over instantly. Um, how am I? Yeah, I'm down to 7,000. I actually lost money last year. Just not enough. Nobody wants to use my trains. The AI is not really doing... This is boom times. This is a boom economy with like the lowest prime rates. As good economy as you ever get and everyone's losing money. Wow. The train said they want, they made money last year, but I don't know if I believe it. Train 2 is the guy that goes, I think, just Bratislava and Gyor back and forth. He's the worst, which kind of makes sense. It's the two smallest cities. The other guy at least connects up three. Ouch. Well, if I were to restart, what would I do differently? I just... I mean, I could not take a loan. I could just do one connection between Vienna and Bratislava. This guy is the only one making consistent money. Maybe what I should do is make just a little train there and a little one there. Because it doesn't have to be connected this time. I could, like, maybe start up in all three areas the AI started up in. Like, so I just start with a little connection there, a little connection there, a little connection there. I don't know if I'd be able to afford much more than that. Oh, I, I had 500,000. What are you guys complaining about? Well. Could I, uh, 6%. 6% is considerably lower than, uh, 9%. Well, I might be starting to make a little bit of money now, at least. I am down to just one loan. Sheesh. Can't get it down to 5%. Well, 6% is much better. But my trains are just not profitable. I think maybe these long tracks connecting up these little cities was just not... It's turning out to be not worth it. I thought it would be fine, but... Huh! Well, I think I'm probably going to restart it for the next episode. Because this is just... I don't think we're going to make it anywhere. I mean, I did make a little bit... I guess I made a fair bit of money that year. Maybe I'll be okay. It just feels like I wasted the first five years of the game not making any money. Interest went down a little bit. I think, I don't even know what the difference is, because my interest was only 30000 less. And I made 330000 more over overall. Just from more revenue. But I didn't change anything, right? Like, I didn't add more cars or anything. So it's nothing I did. It was just suddenly, you know, I'm making money again. I don't understand it. Same same connections exactly. Same Same routes. One year I lose tons of money. The next year I'm making a bit. Huh. I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Restart or keep playing. Restart or keep playing. Just listen to the trains. We'll do one more year. We'll, we'll see what it's like at the end of this year. If I made a fairly good profit, then maybe I'll keep playing next episode. If I don't, th if it goes back down to negative or something, then I'll just restart it. It's very unreliable if like one year you lose 60,000 and then the next year you make 200 like 
There's no way I can really grow. <laughs> I, I mean, I can take bonds out again at a fairly good rate right now. Which would help connect stuff up. But my current roots are just so bad. That one... So that was... Coming from Zale... From Zed to Brat was actually pretty good that time. Seems like that route's not too bad. I must have made a bit of money this year. Hmm. I'll think about it, I guess. Just doesn't... Like, I don't know. How can I waste so many years and not do anything? Still giving me a raise. Still making a bit of money again. I think, you know what? I'm going to try a restart. I'm going to try my strategy. If it doesn't work, I'll just delete the episode and I'll, I'll come back to this. I'm, I'll save it right now so I remember. This is... Uh, this is Istanbul LP1, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try recording a, a triple, a, a split where I build just a little section there, a little section there, and maybe one up there as well, because the AI has the right idea. And then I will. Uh, I'll see how it goes. If it turns out horrible, I'll just tell you that it turned out horrible and restart this. So anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time in some version of this game. See ya.